hey what's up welcome back to the channel hope everybody's having an awesome day let's jump into it so i've had this idea for quite some time and the reason i'm going into this as you can see over here we're looking at celebrities today this is one of the places where i first started to see how powerful it could be because most of these people that became famous and that are famous they all seem to have used the same methods and the same techniques that i'm talking about over here the problem is sometimes with people is that if you aren't a famous celebrity and stuff there is a bit of doubt obviously so i'm just gonna run through and react to some of their manifestation stories and i think it will be quite powerful already you can see over here we got olivia rodrigo and demi lovato so Olivia made this tweet in 2017 and she just says Grammy day. Now people could say, oh, but maybe the Grammys were just on that day. So she was excited to watch it. Fair enough. But you need to realize this. She has always wanted to be a singer. So of course she's going to saturate her mind watching the Grammys because guess what she's doing? When she's sitting there, she's looking at herself go up onto stage. And she's seeing herself as the new best young artist or whatever. And she's excited about that dream. And then she goes and makes music. And she's const like I said, she's constantly saturating her mind with what she wants. She's living in that assumption. And then 2022 gets three Grammys. Demi Lovato. This is an interesting one because she says, One day I'm going to sing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. One day! Um, that was 10 years before she actually even got it. So it's like Neville will say is that every manifestation has its own appointed time. Uh, the time a cow has a baby to, well, a calf, to a goat, and then a human having a baby... It's all the same process, but each one has its own appointed time. The times vary. So it's just the same as manifestations. Like some things are bigger than others, so they'll take some time. But make no mistake, it's going to happen for you. And that's what you have to just hold on to. So we're going to move straight into our, our videos now. If you're back here on the channel, hit the like button. Uh, if you're new, subscribe, you know. We're doing these things constantly and let's jump into one of my favorite ones yet. So this is one of my favorite ones ever. And this was Jim Carrey on Oprah. Very quick, very simple, very practical and notice the clarity. You used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night and visualize seeing yourself as yeah, I would visualize, uh, yeah, I would this visualize... This is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having mm -hmm. directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or mm -hmm. whatever that is. And, and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I w wanted or whatever. This and, was in uh, like 1987, 85? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So didn't you write yourself a check? I heard yeah. that you did. Is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh five years or three years maybe and uh and uh, i dated it thanksgiving 1995 and i put it in my wallet and i kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff but then just before thanksgiving 1995 i found out that i was gonna make 10 million dollars on i think it was dumb and dumber dumb and dumber yeah, yeah. so you visualize yourself so that right there is just you know absolutely incredible like that's one of my favorite stories of all time and i actually feel like i should have put that one last but that's just the thing you see the clarity he had and the that the law of assumption that was in play like every night he would see himself being um, approached and congratulated by people he looked up to in the industry he was in and he even had a check that he just kept and he set the date and everything and that's what a lot of people don't do. They, I feel like they kind of, as soon as they set a date for themselves and exactly they're clear on what they want, now all of a sudden the pressure is on because they think that, oh no, now I have to find out some way to do this. 
And that's not what you're supposed to do. That's not your problem. You're not supposed to know the how. You just keep doing what you do every day, you know, and enjoy it. Because if you love something, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to do it anyway. Olivia, for instance, she would, was always going to sing, even if it was, you know, at birthday parties and things. She loves singing. So, yes, you have this vision and you live in this assumption. And then hopefully that assumption connects to what you love doing anyways. And then one day it just picks up. You know, that's why they say money isn't always the best target to have because it's it's kind of hard to be passionate about money when you're passionate about something else that you just love doing. And then you have a big dream for it. Then, of course, money will just come with that onto the next one. So this is also an interesting one. Ariana Grande plays a part somehow. I don't know. I just back to uh, more of manifestation, like if we're going really there, cause I kind of went off the rails a little bit. Um, but my mom always taught me that if I want something, it can happen. Like it's absolutely possible and the, to never act like it's not. And I think in a way that's kind of manifestation. It's like, you think about it like it's already there and it is, but I was taught that since I'm four years old, I was four years old and they called 411 to ask the lady who worked at the front desk at Universal, probably the theme park, probably not even the studio, if I could audition for all that, you know? And then I was on Nickelodeon. That was like my first, you know? Yes, I, yes, I, it is I, true. I, I, do, I do think it's real because I think yeah. that that's how I'm here at all. I think my mom taught me that. Absolutely amazing. That's also a really, really good one. I mean, you, you listen to what she says. She says that, her mom taught her when she was really young and she was four years old just calling to the studio believing that anything is possible calling to nickelodeon and then ends up being on nickelodeon because in her mind she can do anything that she wants and so it's there it's exactly the same she was talking about the law of assumption assuming you're going to get it and you'll get it just like i said about helen hadsell yesterday next Soldier boy, tell him. You can speak things into existence, and it's just like all about energy, you know what I'm saying? So, law of attraction, like, that shit crazy. Like, that shit really crazy. Like, boom, like, man, you just think, like, oh, I want to be successful. I want a car. I want a girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just keep thinking, keep thinking. You, like, the world will set it up to where you acquire what you want. And it's, it's crazy. It's real. Some people think it's like, oh, I don't know. I, it's, it's very real, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful what you think, you know? People used to think I was crazy, like, man, nah, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna make it rapping. And I just kept, like, I really believed it, like, you know? And now to be in the position that I'm in now and look back on it, it's like, yo, I was right, you know what I'm saying? And if that don't prove that law of attraction is real, I don't know what it is, because I definitely used to think about everything that I'm doing right now, like right now, this very second, I used to think about it every day, all day, like, and now it's, I'm here, so, you know, there gotta be some truth to it. And so, yeah, Soldier Boy, <laughs> Soldier Boy, tell him, like, these people are telling you something. It's as clear as day. And you notice how they're all saying the same thing about saturating the mind. Neville says it as well, you know, keep saturating the mind with exactly what you want and it'll come into fruition. That's the point of everything that I'm saying. And that's why these videos are so powerful. I'll end it off with the next one. It's also becoming slowly one of my favorite ones because he gets into the crux of what everything is. Listen to me. This is the part you have to get. The evidence of things not seen. Your imagination is the evidence of things not seen. You know why they say it's not seen? Because your imagination, you are the only one who can see it. So what does that mean? Your imagination is God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. See, boy, let me tell you something. This is a real good thing if you can grab this now. So you know what that means? 
all that stuff you've ever imagined. It's just been God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. All this stuff. Your imagination ain't no hocus pocus. This ain't just you coming up with these wild and random thoughts. Nah, man. <laughs> so wow, Steve Harvey, right? So like, he just obviously has a way with words, stand-up comedian, and this, it's just beautiful. Even when I watch this now, I just feel so inspired to just keep doing what I'm doing. And because, and here's something else that I'll just add at the end of this, is that don't look at your life right now as what you think your life will be. What you're living right now is simply just the fruit of the seeds you planted in the past. That's all it is. But this isn't the potential of what you could be. If you changed your thoughts and saturated your mind with what you wanted today, then the future you would be living that life of the thoughts you planted today. So it's like invest in yourself. I think Neville says it in his book, At Your Command, where he says, you, your thoughts are, you can, there's two things you can do with your thoughts. You can invest them or you can spend them. You know, you spend your thoughts with mindless thinking of things that they don't really suit you and they contradict each other, con constantly contradicting each other. Or you can invest your thoughts and invest it into the thing you want and concentrate on the thing you want and then later on cash out that investment. See the fruition of the fruit of the seeds you planted. So it's absolutely beautiful. This is just going to be part one. So subscribe for more because there's many more of these videos. Very powerful videos. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want someone to see this as always share it with them and if you want to see the other parts of this subscribe for more i'm out thanks for watching my other videos are there there and subscribe over there i'm out peace